Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we did transform this line here into a passenger station. So the, the, the two stations pre previously were freight stations. Transformed them into passenger stations, and now look at that. Look at all those people. 85. And our train is only... can only handle, I don't know... 64 so we definitely need an upgrade you might need more trains in here and uh, i did see that there is a new train haven't looked at it yet it just popped up as of 1988 or 1987 this one the re450 commuter train from 1988 can handle 99 passengers it is quite expensive though compared to this one so this is our current one this is for hmm, not that expensive in terms of speed it is a bit faster it does have more power it does weigh a bit more and it's more expensive in every way but it seems like an upgrade and loading speed is faster as well so maybe in the long run we would need this like right now there are a hundred passengers waiting on Hastings but in Chatham, I guess not so much. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's uh, let that cook for a while, right? In the meantime, I did see a couple of new interesting things here. I'm not sure what happened if there was a patch recently. But something definitely changed. Or maybe I just didn't notice it in the previous episode. But the uh, construction materials to Hastings. Look at that. 300 plus. And we only have one train there currently. So if we look at that, visible only. Train Hastings Logs, we only have one train there. It's earning 4.74M. And I think that sudden surge in construction materials going to Hastings is, is because of the ship. So in on top of uh, just delivering to Hastings in itself. Because if you look at Hastings... It only needs 206 construction materials, but there's 300 waiting there. So it must mean that there's something, it's because of this one. The freight line we have, which is going here. Look at that. So there must be a huge demand in Stockport as well. There we go. 201 demand in Stockport. So that is triggering the, the surge in the demand in conmats and that i would i guess also trigger the demand for fuel so as you can see here we do need a couple more trucks in here because currently we only have one let's maybe take uh, i don't know maybe two more should do the trick let's see truck to stockport there we go and let's see if that will be enough so it looks like our boats are doing their jobs. Slowly but surely. Okay. This one is carrying con mats, but I think they can carry goods. Okay, this is the test. I've had some comments where it sa they said uh, the boats can only carry one type of material. I think that's true. One material at a time. But this can change into goods. See? Point proven. <laughs> so it looks at the current number of uh, goods in the station and it weighs which is more which will be able to fill up the boat more and at that point earlier the goods were more than the con mats so it decided to pick up the goods instead which is what we have here and just in time the con mats arrived right after we got those goods so that is case in point <laughs> all right so that works that works this guy is waiting for fuel, uh, waiting for a free spot there, and then it will get some fuel. Hmm, if there's waiting there, then that might mean we have too many boats, actually. Or we might need another freight station just for fuel. Have different uh, freight stations for fuel and for con mats, and for goods. I think someone commented that before, but I didn't quite get it. Hmm... We'll think about that. Let me know what you think. Also, I noticed something, a problem a while ago. We need a signal here. And let me try to explain it. 
So previously, we had a train, this log train, waiting here. And it said he wouldn't leave the station and said waiting for a free path. Because the fuel train here was coming. But the fuel train was still on this side, just still far away. So normally you would think, well, you're so near to that junction there, to that crossover. You could have just gone through even before the train arrived here, the fuel train arrived here. But because I didn't have a signal here, it sort of uh, said, okay, the fuel is going, so the fuel owns this entire line, so you have to wait. Not sure if that made sense. So when putting a signal here, that makes the fuel train wait here. That gives more allowance to the leaving train to go to the appropriate line. Yeah? Makes sense? Hopefully. <laughs> Look at that. Even the oil has suddenly surged in the production. It might be due to that new city that we connected. This is interesting. Okay, look at all that. 100 fuel and our ship can handle 250. Okay, no problem. That's no problem. Yeah, it might be worth to add another station here though. Can I? Can I? Would I? Should I? Okay, first and foremost, <laughs> pick the right one. We don't want a repeat of the previous issue. Okay, we can have something here just right next to it. The question is, would it be connected to that stop there? Let's try. Medium street, connect that in here. Actually, that can be a small street. Because no one would be going there anyway. So if I click this, you are in, in range of that. Okay, cool. Alright. And then the fuel line... Where was it? Okay, well, let's have them split. The fuel line, instead of stopping over there, you stop over here, okay? And I remove it from there. There we go. Okay, so that didn't reset the fuel here. Good thing. I was thinking that would remove all the fuel because the, the lines reset. So now they have dedicated uh, stations. The con mats will go here and the goods and the fuel will always go here. Cleaner, yes? Yes. Okay. That makes sense. So even though they kind of bump into each other here, they won't wait on each other in terms of the station. They won't uh, wait for for some other boat to dock. Okay, less conflicts. Uh, and then they will still be going to the same destination here, which I'm thinking right now, would it make sense to also make another station to connect that? Hmm. Maybe. Nah, let's leave it for now. Let's wait for it later. I think that's enough for now. Alright. Wow. Look at all these. Alright, so did the train just arrive? Yeah, the fuel train just dropped a bomb there. Not really a bomb. <laughs> a figurative bomb. Okay, just a lot of fuel. So it might be that we need more buses or trucks in here. Although currently we have so many already. Hmm, interesting. Might be enough actually. Okay, okay, let me add just two more. It's kind of hard to do trial and error in this. There's probably a, a more accurate way of calculating that, doing some maths, but I'm just too lazy to do it. Alright, let's see. So this guy is picking up construction materials, con mats, seven goods and uh, 130 con mats, that's for sure. But even after it gets everything, there would still be 251 con mats waiting for that. Yeah, so that is no go. We need one more train like this, most probably. So I'll copy that one. That is a... What's the name of that guy? Hastings Logs, this one. Uh, it's a class 1042. Two goods wagons, two boxcars, and uh, 10 steak cars, I think, right? 
Yeah, let's leave it there open so I can copy it easily. So a class V100 was it? A class 1042, sorry. Logos, class 1042, and then two goods, and then 10 stakes. This might be a bit overkill, but we will see. It's always trial and error. Train, Hastings, Locks. Is that the right one? Yep, it's the right one. There we go. So that should pick up the slack there. Although as an effect of that, we will get more con mats in here. So we will need more trucks, but I did add trucks already. So that should be good. Okay, and in here, this guy just picked up those con mats, 84 of them. Perfect. And look at these. 93 passengers, 94. So that's more or less consistent now. And in here, oh my goodness, yeah, definitely. Alright, so let's, uh, we'll make this guy go home. Let's have them make one more trip. And then maybe, hmm, 95 and then how many here? I'm thinking we can have two trains. Two of those multiple unit trains. That will probably make it much faster. So what I can do is I can order one more one already here. Uh, an RE450 commuter train set you on the train Hastings Chatham. Let's look at how cool you are. Wow, <laughs> did you guys hear that? <laughs> that seemed a bit funky. There we go, beautiful. Of course, you have to take a screenshot there. And then when the older train gets back, you'll have him re get replaced. Actually, can I just auto-replace him? How old are you? 12 years. 12 years and your lifespan is... Uh, 50 years. So I would need around... What? 12? 15? Wait, boss. This would be a good screenshot with the people in there. Like that. Yeah. Full-on effect. Though it, this seems kind of sad that the people don't have any shelter or any roof while waiting. That would be hot. No wonder they don't look so happy. <laughs> but you're riding a new train, so you should be happy. Alright. More people coming in. Look at that. We actually filled it up. Perfect. Okay, now it sounds normal. Hmm, I don't know what it, why it sounded weird, but differently a while ago. Honestly wanted to try a TGV here, but I think it's too short a line. Yeah. So I'm not sure if I can handle two trains, or do I just need one train? No, I think I need two. So let me try it first. Would it work if I just set this? Replacement, 25, set the multiple units, and yes. Will you get replaced there? Hmm, let's see. And currently we're earning 2 million. Let's see if that will increase or decrease with this change that we're doing. Okay, after this guy unloads, he should upgrade. Okay, he doesn't. That means he, does, he hasn't reached the 25% yet. Okay, go back and then we will buy a new one and set that instead. Mm, March 31, April 1. Okay, make a new one there. Because the expenses only come in every... Oh crap, I think I did it too fast. I'm not sure. Oh no, I did it, I did it. Because the expenses only come in every first of the month. So if you buy something after the first of the month, you don't pay its uh, running costs yet. So that's a good tip for you guys. If you're buying something, buy it after the first of the month or buy it after a month starts <laughs> does that make sense 
so you avoid at least one month of running costs because if you buy something just before the month ends you already bought you already pay for the running costs once it hits the next month so it's a it's a loose loose situation for you okay 99 passengers there's 55 left i think it's too much but realistically speaking Roleplay speaking, it's very good for the customers. 130 seconds, very good frequency now. Very high tech and very modern trains. State of the art. Okay, these two ones, they've been split accordingly. Perfect. And uh, let's have a look at the con mats in here. Con mats are. Con mats to Hastings. There we go. Getting sipped up. And how many left after this? 163. Still a lot, but much less than before. So I'm, I'll take that. And then there's another one arriving, which will... Okay, this is for fuel. Train Hastings Fuel, 117. It can carry 225. Alright, that's good. What else is piling up? Mm, salt ash is building up as well but I don't think that's a problem because there there it goes so it should zip up all the fuel and oil to salt ash 86 fuel and 120 um, so much is happening <laughs> this mega train station the central platform look at that it's just a thing of beauty everything's just so busy look at this wonder if I can pick up all of that up. Probably not. Yeah, look at the, He picked up 210 oil and only 15 fuel. Is there more than one fuel uh, train here? Train salt ash fuel? No, only one. That might mean we need another more. One more. Mm. Salt ash fuel, look at that, 122. So we'll need to copy this one. Alright, let's do it. Hopefully that doesn't make our our line here too crowded. Otherwise I would need to make this four tracks. I might need to do that anyway already. Yeah. Actually, that might be a good idea. To avoid the waiting. So let's let's see let's see about that. The logs are moving here forward, so I might as well make these existing lines logs exclusive. The, this brown one, yeah, this train. And then I can make new lines for the fuel. Yeah, I can do that. Let's see. Let's try that, okay? Mm, so they do arrive in here. Let me see, yeah? Huh? Actually, if you're going that way, then we can make the logs go up here as well and the fuel go down here. So, it's going to be a bit messy. There'll be a, a couple of lost goods along the way, but it's only temporary. And did you see that? All those logs that arrived. Look at all those logs. 88. Nice. So I'm assuming this is doing good. It will be doing good after those 88 logs arrive. Uh, goods, trucks, they are a lot, so it should be fine. Okay, there we go. So I was thinking... Swapping these two. Or even removing... The connection here below. Let me show you. After this train leaves, I'll do it. After this train leaves as well. Yeah, that would be perfect. So fast forward a bit. No! Okay. We need another signal here. This is the classic example of what I was talking about earlier. So you see, even though this train could leave already, because another is one is approaching even from that far angle, it's not leaving. It says it's waiting. But now I put that signal there. Now he can go first. Yeah, makes sense. Um, stop. Chatham Sawmill, what's the problem? Ship more items. I did ship more items. Uh, something got full along the way. Probably... I don't see it though. 
I don't see it. Everything's getting shipped. Well, the oil here isn't. But something just got delivered, so that's fine. Um, let's leave that for now. Let's make this exclusive, okay? So the logs crane, I want to deliver up here. So I simply have to remove this one. So now they share the line there, right? Um, this is gonna be messy. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. So they're sharing that one. And remove that one instead. Okay, so that one is exclusive to the logs line now. So now we create a new one, this one for fuel. Let's make that double tracks as well. So a high speed, just hug that. Um, let's see, can I just hug it all the way until the end? Make it look so pro looking. I actually can, very good. So let's have something like this. Just create that there. So the logs line is going up there. I can just remove this connection in here. And that one too. And uh, so don't remove that. Look for the connector here somewhere. Is that the one? It's kind of hard sometimes. So if you remove that, it will remove the existing one here, which we don't want. What I want to remove is only this leg. So maybe... Not that. Sometimes it's not possible at all. But I did want to prevent the other line from getting affected. Oh man. Does that work? Okay, we have no choice. We can delete this. That completely made the wrong thing. Okay, that ruined things. <laughs> but it's easy to bring back. We just do it like that. And we just do it like that. Um, move forward, probably. Let's make this better. That's too... That's too far forward. Because I want a faster train. So the speed here must be 150. 160 even. There. Let's see. What speed is that? 286. Okay, I don't need that that fast. So I can actually lessen that a bit. Now that's 198, I can make that into 160, and I'm happy. 142, I'm looking at this one, 149, 160, because the, old, the freight trains can only go 160 in this game. There we go. Although that was 134, if you notice. Also, this is not really essential because when your trains are leaving the station, they're not going to reach max speed anyway, but I'm just trying to make it as pretty as possible. So you want 160 all the way through. So 170 there, but 150 here. So we'll have to have it 160 here, 182 there. That's perfect. And now we can link that back. All right, there we go. And bring back the signals. Um, why do I have a signal there? That kind of doesn't make sense. Okay, um, let's do it before the join here right there that would be nice okay and then there's a new track here which would connect to this one perfect okay so right now they're doing absolutely the wrong thing um why okay Ah, yes, yes. Okay, I get it. I sort of get it. So the game says, okay, you have two lines there. I want to split them. And it split them wrongly. So I have to do it like... Hmm. I don't want to connect them yet. So remove this last leg to make them share. 
and then we can connect them later on all right so let's uh, have this one so this one is already three tracks we want to make them four tracks so we can make another branch here where that branch happens somewhere here maybe like that just to make it remotely similar although that is a very slow speed 88 but I, I'll take it looks good <laughs> and then I can proceed from there beautiful beautiful all right okay connect that all the way here and there we go so from here i can make a branch which is not looking good from here let's make that no 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 it's the first time i've seen that happen there we go that's what i wanted so i wanted the 160 but i don't think we can get that here I can move that back a bit more. There. To make sure we start from this side and we get the maximum speed. There we go. So I have uh, what what there? 53? Maybe get a better angle, 53. I have 130 and 124. Okay, let's increase that a bit okay seems like it can't so the best I can manage is 129 all right I'll take that and then just connect these two so now we have four tracks yes the only thing is right now they're both using the top line so we can make that just connect this one and they will use both lines perfect um, only thing is, why aren't they using this inside track? So the logs line is perfect, but the fuel line doesn't make sense. So it should be using this other side. Okay, I think we just need signals here and it will be aware of what it needs to do. So we just copy the signals here and there. And now, voila! Four tracks all maximized and utilized and just copy the placements of these signals one and one and where else only thing is yeah we're still lacking some let's make make it here there and there and then one also here before the merge perfect looks perfect Okay, so the salt ash train, one, two, and just to make sure that it goes to this station always, I want to make a waypoint just to make sure that the game doesn't derp it up sometimes, sometime in the future and mixes those two up, like jumbles them, interchanges the logs and the fuel line. So do it like that just to be sure, just to be extra, extra sure. Okay, so now everyone has their own line. Nice. Now the problem is this train doesn't have a way to go to that second track. So if you remember, the fuel line doesn't have a path. So we have to make a connection somewhere. Um, I think I can maybe connect, connect, um, I don't know. Can I connect this one to that one? There, uh, no, not really. Too much curvature. That would have been perfect. Maybe I can do this. A cheat. Not really. Because this would be just temporary. Just to have that train transfer. And we'll never need to do that again. Because all the succeeding trains should use this other line. What we can do simply is to have something like this. Yeah? And then connect it like that even just like that so the train can use that one let's see there we go 
Perfect. Yes. And then we can actually delete that. Why do I have super sp super fast speed? Can delete that. There we go. Perfect. I hope the train had something to deliver. Okay. No path electric. Um, yeah, this is the side effect. Sometimes the trains get jumbled up. Like, it has goods. Oh no, it's, it's correct because the goods come from here and then they deliver to the central station. So that's perfect. Okay, the only problem we have here is we have no connection from the depot to the fuel line now. Because this uh, line only connects to this one. So let's let that train leave. Let's remove this window so we can see the lines. Okay, pause. So the depot goes here and here. And we can just make it that it goes and crosses here as well. Or not. <laughs> that might be a bit too complicated for that. I was hoping it would work. It should work. Okay, there. It works there. Yes. And then let's do one more. There we go. Perfect. So what happens now is we get a train. When we build the train, it goes from the depot crosses over to this side here, to the second line, crosses over to the third using this uh, crossover, and crosses over to the fourth, if needed. And we need some signals here. Question is how? Probably there. Yeah, because the train would go that direction, if I turn on the lines, and they would have to have an intersection there somewhere. And then we would also need somewhere a signal in here. Not really. Not really. This one, rather. There. Hmm, this is too close together. So I might actually remove this one. Oh crap! <laughs> I hate that! Alright, we have to. Bring it back somehow. I'm not sure even what I deleted. The fourth one. Oh crap, this is a mess. What the heck happened? Ah, okay, I know. I know. So this line here. Oh, I'm not sure if I can just do that right off the bat. I might have to remove everything. Crap. Okay, let's do that smoothly. Connect this here. That's the way. And uh, we have one connection. We connect to that inside track. And we connect to this outside one, which will not work for some reason. Okay, how did I do that before? Ooh, headache. And what is that? What's with that <laughs> curvature? Alright, let's do that again, okay? Maybe it's better if I just link it up like that and then merge normally. So it was the 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 curve isn't too steep. There we go. And then this signal actually remove that make it a bit closer to this one right before the merge there is one here so we have there okay so I think that kind of connects stuff although this looks a bit funky you can see that snake like root there I might need to remove that make it a bit prettier Um, that kind of works. 
kind of works and doesn't at the same time. <laughs> okay, this one we also need to move forward closer to here maybe. There. Does that work? Do we need one more? We probably need one there. Okay, we do have one. Alright, somehow I guess that works. Don't ask me how, right? But <laughs> I'm good with that. Alright, let's see. This guy is full, and yet there are so many in here. So let's get one more of these. Uh, let's see. That is simply a class 1042 with 15 tank wagons. But they should be colored red. And we'll be able to test if this junction we did works. Class 1042, make it red. And how many tank wagons? 15. There, and then 15 tank wagons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I can see it below. 15, there we go. And now you're ready. A bit overkill, but at least they're consistent. So now it's complete. Now it should be able to transfer to that new line there. Let's see. Let's observe it. It's coming. Hmm. The lines don't have colors. The the traffic lights. It must be a texture problem on my end. Sometimes yeah that happens. When you see black textures. Yeah, you have to delete your cache or something. Not sure why it happens, but it does. How long are these anyway? 239 meters, okay. So they can become even longer, actually. So Okay, so that train will stop there because there's a signal. That works. Perfect. And this train should drive straight through. Look how beautiful that is, crossing all those lines. And it should arrive here, pick that up. <clears throat> Fast forward a bit because we're almost out of time. And voila. Will it be able to get all of that? What the heck is that? The Merlin and 40 ton truck. Nice. But I won't upgrade to that 40 ton truck. I will instead upgrade to the MAN trucks from the DMA trucks mod. Look at that, it's full. Not really, it's almost full. That's nice. So now we should have two trains of fuel for fuel and one is arriving again. That's perfect. Although it doesn't have too many in here. Why not? Hmm. I might need to add more fuel trains, look at that. more oil trains yeah so the next episode we'll do more of that more optimizations <laughs> i hope it's fine with everyone i'm not really expanding so much but i'm trying to op optimize all the lines we really have which is like an infinite battle all right 40 tons truck is here i'm not sure exactly when the man trucks come out i want to jump straight to that but i'll research about it in next episode maybe we can do that depending on the year they come out. I did try it out in, on stream, on a stream last year. I think it was the last stream for the year or something like that. Look at that. Barely anything there. That doesn't look too good, but maybe it's just a train spacing issue. We'll see. Maybe I could have just made this a bit longer instead of buying a new one. Yeah, but I really wanted to test this train out. Anyway, we'll see how it goes in the next episode. We'll, we'll gauge if we need to uh, sell one train and just expand, make the other one longer. Lots of fuel, lots of oil, lots of plastic, lots of goods. Look at that, production is now 348. Uh, we're still missing planks here. Still need a lot of planks. But that's definitely ramping up. Perfect. I like it. 
Okay, this one is unloading stuff there. Yeah, I'm, I'm instead of removing a fuel train here, I might add one here instead. Because this is 1-6 production. This is 1472 only, but it can actually reach 1-6. So maybe we can add one more train like this. Look at that, 300 crude oil. Anyway, I'll not hold you guys any longer. And by the way, I will have a giveaway for Transport Fever very soon. I will announce it probably in the next episode how to join it. So for those of you guys who didn't win last time, there's another chance if you want a copy of this game. Uh, this is just a beautiful game. So addicting and so I can just spend my entire day just optimizing these lines. <laughs> I really love what we made here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So you get updated whenever I post videos. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. This is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.